Welcome to another edition of Old Airsoft Stuff. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love World War II weapons and uh, history. So I couldn't pass up the chance to attend my very first Milsim, Siegfried Breakthrough, hosted by the guys at Gunfighter Paintball and Airsoft in Louisiana. It was played at the field of 878 Airsoft in Waxahachie, Texas, which if you've never been to, is a huge, huge place. I'll be honest, I didn't know exactly what to expect. I would classify myself as a casual player. I mainly go with my son on weekends. Never been to an Airsoft Milsim uh, event, so I didn't really know what to expect or how to get ready for it. Fortunately, we fit right in and had a great time. Uh, so if you're on the fence about going to one, don't be. Things were really well organized. Here you can see a picture of the two leaders of the respective sides. And they were in overall command. And underneath them, each group, which we were included in Dog Company, had a secondary leader with an XO, and we followed their commands in the field. Our group, Dog Company, was commanded by a guy named Dylan, who did a great job. And my son even got to play Medic, which is something he is really looking forward to. The 878 field is huge compared to what we've been used to at D14 up north of Denton, which is 40 acres. This is 170 acres, and you don't get an idea how big it is until you're out there. Each player had to have their guns chronoed to meet certain specifications, which limited the HPA long range shot from a Crytek that you never saw. It made it a lot more interesting. The objectives were marked on the field by flags that had to be flipped in order for the points to be earned. Uh, for us, that meant a lot of running and a lot of walking. There was a thorough safety brief at the beginning. Players were told that if they were caught violating any of these safety rules, it would end up costing their team points. But more importantly, if there were multiple violations, it could get the player ejected. I appreciated the attention to that kind of level of safety, especially because my son was playing. And like I said, we were new to this whole experience. And then off to the game, it was pretty clear early on that we were well outnumbered as the Allied. The Germans were there in force, well prepared, well armed, and, and dressed very authentically. Uh, the good news for us is that we had a half track, which I gotta say was one of the coolest things ever. The morning's deployment was done in the half track for the Allied. It was really cool. I've shot some video and it's terrible, but it'll give you an idea of what it was like. took us to our HQ where we deployed and set up camp. You can see that here. It's where we all had to return after we'd been killed, which happened a lot. The half track was used throughout the day to deliver us to various assault points and to help provide support to uh, address the numerical superiority that the Germans had. Uh, what comes up next is a brief video I shot of our first assault in it. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Stefan, you got me? I'll get ready, guys. I'm gonna be one of the first one to go. I'd love to say that all that firepower and support helped the Allies win the day, but ultimately we didn't. The Germans were really well prepared, well organized, and well, <laughs> there were a lot more of them than there were of us, which made the end game pretty difficult. Uh, still, it was a lot of fun watching them make assaults, and here we were. I was playing as a paratrooper with my son as a medic surrounded on all sides, fighting to uh, hold on to objectives. As you can see from this following footage, I'm by no means a combat photographer, but I'm, I'm gonna include this to give you a little sense of what it was like there. The admins were setting off flares, smoke grenades, uh, stun grenades, bombs of all measure. People were using uh, grenades. The sound of gunfire could be heard throughout the field and it really contributed to the experience. 
The gameplay included medic rules where the medic could revive anyone hit up to three times after which they couldn't be revived. And once the unit was knocked out, it had to return back to their fob to reorganize. So everybody had to stay with their unit, not lone wolf. And that was adhered to throughout the majority of the game. As numbers dwindled, it got pretty cold that first night. As numbers dwindled, there were much smaller units, but we still managed to have a lot of good fun. So this is our first Milsim experience and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I want to say special thanks to the guys at Gunfighter and 878 for putting on a great event. Thanks also to Dylan for leading Dog Company so well in trying times. To Will and Blake for making it so much fun. For Owen keeping us entertained. And to everybody that contributed photos to this. And everybody that attended and made it such a great event. We're looking forward to the next one.